This has been varied, you know, in the course of our work uh, in the Niger Delta region. And um, what we find, essentially, um, the moderator actually has started touching on it. A lot of duplication, a lot of competition instead of uh, collaboration in the development planning process in the Niger Delta region. That is why we have a regional master plan which nobody owns and nobody is implementing. And then there is when the Minister of Niger Delta Affairs started, uh, we came up with a social integration action plan that is not linked or coordinated with the regional master plan that existed. Different, the federal ministries, you know, they all have different plans for the region. But if we must get past this, I think the starting point is for us to agree on the basic planning unit for the region. Are we going to plan based on local government entities? Are we going to plan based on states? Or are we going to plan based on the region as a whole? If you ask me based on my experience and background, I think the state is the most feasible unit, is the most feasible entity on which we can base our plans. If we do this, then we can begin to build, but it doesn't matter whether you are a federal agency or you are, you, 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 you are a national you know, uh, ministry, you can begin to look at how to support the state plans. So we begin with the state plans. What do the states want to do in the next five years, in the next 20 years, or 30 years? Uh, how do we fit our plans into the state plans so that there is ownership? If we do that, I tell you, we will avoid the situation where we, that, that, that we had with the original master plan. The experience was that the NDDC developed that master plan for the region. They built schools. There were no teachers to work in those schools because the states were not carried along. There was no ownership by the state. 